everybody, welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. If this is your first time, click that bell, get notifications when we post up new content. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Thanks for checking us out. We're busy, we got lots going on. We're gonna show you guys the sloths today. Uh, the new, uh, three, the three sloths that we put together are getting along great. Yes. Lima is doing amazing all on his own. He's such a big boy. He's done a couple little meet and greets here and there. And uh, we got a lot going on with some enrichment, some food. Yeah, so these couple of weeks, like end of May, we slow down a little bit before we get really busy for the summer. So just kind of enjoying, taking the time, doing lots of enrichment for the animals, catching up with stuff, uh, just kind of staying on top of things. Can't wait for the barn to get here next week. Next week, barn. I'll give you a quick update. There's not much to update yeah, about that. So. But they're doing good next week. So excited. Next week. Yes. And we're in here with PJ and Penelope. So let's see if we can say hi to PJ and Penelope here. Here's Miss PP. She's just eating her Missouri <laughs> guinea pig food. Did you know that uh, capybaras, humans, and guinea pigs, and I think chimps or great apes, something like that, um, are the only animals in the world that don't produce enough vitamin C? So uh, we have to eat, they have to eat this special uh, Missouri guinea pig food. It has additional vitamin C in it because uh, they have uh, vitamin C deficiencies. And I just love how Penelope sits here and eats breakfast and she steps on her bowl every morning so it tips it over to her face. It goes all over the place. But this is how she loves to eat breakfast. Yeah. Even and then of course PJ, always on guard. Guy. On guard, uh, PJ. PJ. Peach. What's up, bud? Good morning. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take you around, show you lots of fun stuff. Here we go. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on all the sloths. We have Lily here. We have Luna up there. These girls are getting along great. It's like uh, sister wives to Lucas way over there. Way in that box. He's like way far away. And they're all over here like we're just hanging out, having fun. We installed this new box. Um, it did drop into like the upper 60s for a little bit. So we wanted to make sure we had plenty of boxes and plenty of heat in case all three of them didn't want to cram together in that box back there. So, um, but these two girls are getting along great. Uh, they're doing good. And if you do a tour here, uh, you're gonna maybe come in here with three sloths because we still have Lima. He's still kind of young to be with the other ones. So um, he's off to himself and uh, we will go check out Lima and see how he's doing because he's almost gonna be one and we have a birthday party planned for him soon. So we have Lima here, he is getting so big. He is 11 months old now and he is doing so well on his own. He is totally becoming a big independent boy. You wanna go on the branch, not with me. You don't even wanna be with me right now. So he's been awesome. We've been uh, using him for our tours as well. He's coming right down to people. And next month on June 23rd, that is his first birthday and we are throwing him a party. So we have tickets for sale right now. We're gonna have some, you know, everything sloth themed for him, of course. Um, our sloth adopters are all coming. We're so excited to meet them all. They've been getting updates of him all year and uh, we're super excited. So check out the tickets if you're interested in coming. It's going to be literally on his birthday. It's gonna be in the morning. He was born at 11 a.m. on June 23rd. Do you wanna be off of me? You're such a big boy. All right, I guess he's going. <laughs> we wake you up. Hi. Go say hi to him. <laughs> All right, so quick barn update. The update is there's no update. Uh, we have been kind of at a standstill here. Uh, we knew we did this about two weeks early. Um, and that's because we were told that the concrete needed about two weeks to totally cure. So um, next week, the barn should be here. That's hopefully gonna be our next episode, installing this huge, beautiful barn. Um, praying, hoping that it's here next week. The company says it's gonna be here next week. So it's kind of rest in their hands right now. So the update is there's no update. Concrete is curing. They're ready. They are all ready. And their exhibit's gonna be huge back there. Okay, so we're gonna make some popsicles next up here for the animals. And uh, kind of fun, just some canned fruit. This is a little bit on the sweet side, so it's not something we wanna give too often to everybody. But with the weather warming up, it's a great idea to turn this into popsicles. So we're gonna put it in our little popsicle mold and uh, put it in the freezer for the day. 
and uh, be able to use this as a nice yummy treat. The monkeys will all love this. Uh, lemurs, I'm sure. And uh, Quatamundi. We're going to give it to everybody who likes eating some fresh fruits. And use the whole can to make this tray. There we go. <laughs> so nice yummy juices in there that'll freeze perp perfectly. Pop it in the freezer and by tomorrow we'll have some yummy popsicles. Alrighty, so I'm about ready to do another virtual event. I got a couple reptiles up here, computers all ready to go. I got an armadillo and a parrot down here. Um, we are super lucky, super blessed. Uh, since the pandemic started, um, we've done probably like 80, 85 virtual shows. And it's really helped uh, with us having money coming in and being able to do the virtual stuff and the online learning. So uh, if you wanna see our animals, you wanna get a special one-on-one -on -one with myself or Kylie and the animals, look on our website, look into booking a virtual show. Um, we'll have some of our ambassadors out and you get to learn all about them, talk to us, have question and answer. It's a good time and uh, we love it and it helps all of our animals out. All right guys, thank you so much for checking us out today. We got Rebel up here, the Asian leopard cat, hanging out with us. Uh, <laughs> Busy, busy, busy. Hopefully next week the update's gonna be amazing and we have a beautiful, huge barn to show you. Um, like I said, it's kind of not in our hands. Uh, lots going on, Yeah. busy, we're kind of at a lull. And the then um, <laughs> the last two weeks of May, usually slow way down, school's ending, not a lot of people traveling. Yep. And then um, June summer. hits and we don't stop until August. <laughs> yep, so. Beautiful weather out, love having the time spending with the animals. Yeah, it's actually spring. Like. If you're not in Florida right now, yeah. come because it feels amazing. It's not ungodly hot right now. Yeah. Knock We're on like wood. This week. <laughs> yeah. It feels amazing. Yes. So thank you for checking us out. As always, um, be kind, do something nice for one another, uh, be safe, and uh, go out there, do something <laughs> amazing. amazing.